guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me again on my channel if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you so much for subscribing um i just want to thank you guys for the feedback that i received from the previous video it was amazing i must say it was actually more than what i expected thank you thank you so much guys some of your tips i did take and i'm going to use as from now um a few of you said that i looked a bit nervous which i cannot argue with because it's true it was my first video so yeah but like i like i promised i will get better as time goes by and as we move along this journey together um so basically today's video i'm going to take you guys through my afro journey um from the big chop up until today so i'll be telling you guys about the challenges that i came across as a naturalista as well as the things that i love the most about this um wonderful journey and last week if you still remember i did a q a on my instagram asking you guys to ask me anything that is afro related so i'm going to be answering some of those questions in this video if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up do not forget to comment and do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed as well just a disclaimer before we start the video i have flu and please excuse my squeaky voice <laughs> I can say that from primary up until 2014 i had long beautiful healthy looking relaxed hair and in 2014 i just decided that i'm going to cut my hair for what i do not know and after cutting my hair like yo i had the biggest regret of my life and i decided that i'm going to grow back my hair again and in the space of less than two years my hair was already long again and it was healthy again so i was able to grow that much hair for such a short space of time and that makes me think that i do have good genes when it comes to hair like my hair can grow quick and fast forward to 2017 that's when things started to change Whenever I went to the saloon, it would just be trauma to me and my scalp. My scalp would like get all sorts of burns. It would, it would literally get fried. And it went on for months and months. And one morning, I just decided that, you know what? I need to give my scalp a break. Like, I need to do something. I just can't keep on going to the saloon just to get my scalp bent like it was getting bent and i knew that i had to do something but then obviously before you start something you ask for opinions and advices from people especially people that are close to you and they would tell me that i'm going to be ugly things like that and for me also my biggest fear was looking ugly knowing the shape of the head that i have yo and yeah it just went on for the longest time guys from 2017 for a few months it carried on to the following year to 2018 and in 2018 one morning i was just scrolling on my instagram timeline and i saw this beautiful lady with a healthy looking afro and i was like wow imagine that on my head and that's when my motivation for cutting my hair started growing i started making research about afro about natural hair and my love for natural hair began way before I cut my hair and it grew bigger every single day. And then one morning in May the 11th, I think, 2018, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to the saloon and I'm going to cut my hair sharp. If I get to the saloon, I didn't even want to think about it because I knew that if I thought about it, I was not going to continue with it sharp. I get to the saloon, I tell the baba that please remove my hair like all of it and he did just like that yo i was even scared of looking at the mirror i remember seeing my hair fall down dull as it was i was like what on earth 
that I do. Sharp, he cut my hair. I almost went bald that day because it was really short. Like, it was this short. Like, short, 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 short. And, yeah, I just cut it and I washed my hair afterwards. I felt the greatest relief, guys. Like, I felt like a, a, a burden was off my shoulders for the first time. And I was happy. I was not regretting my decision. And from that day onwards, I started loving my hair. I started taking care of it. I didn't love it when it started growing bigger because I saw that, okay, it's an afro now. I need to love it. No, I loved my hair the moment I did my big chop. That's when I started falling in love with natural hair up until today. And the following day, I went to Clicks to find products for my hair. Sharp, I go to the natural hair section. There were a lot of products. Most of them were expensive. And I was like, wow, what am I going to do now? Because I definitely need to take care of it. What am I going to do? How am I going to be able to afford these products? Because I didn't know that Afro products were that much expensive. And then I saw Afro Botanics, which was a little bit affordable. Not entirely affordable, just a little bit affordable compared to all other products that were there. And I just decided that, okay, let me begin my Afro journey with Afro Botanics. Decided to get their shampoo, their dip conditioner, their super hair growth cream, as well as their curling cream. Why I was taking the curling cream, I don't know, because my hair was like short. There was no way I was going to curl it. But it was lack of knowledge. So, yeah. The curling cream became handy in the long run. though. And counting from May 2018 up until today, it's been one year, five months which has been the most amazing one um besides the shrinkage i hate shrinkage guys and for me personally that has been the biggest challenge when it comes to having natural hair um like having your hair look like this today the next morning you wake up it is this short like why why are you doing this and another challenge that i came across as a naturalista would be like earlier in this journey would be the time the energy and the maintenance that this hair needs i didn't know honestly it's not like relaxed hair where you just wake up in the morning you go to the saloon they put chemical on your hair you wash they put hair food you come back and your hair is nice and long with afro you have to like it would look like this for example after braiding and you wash it then suddenly it's the small like i said like why why does it have to do that so yeah i'd say the challenges that i go through as a naturalist that would be those two shrinkage and the maintenance that comes with afro and besides those two shame i love it like i love my hair and i would do anything for it literally and just having just having an afro is nice i think according to like what i have seen i'd say that out of 100 percent of people or females 20 percent have an afro and 80 percent have relaxed hair and that is amazing on its own like you would literally be in a crowd of people maybe you guys are 30 and only two or three people in that crowd have natural hair and everyone will just be looking at you being like wow you look good your hair is nice asking all sorts of questions and that on its own is amazing another thing that i love about afro is the texture like how it feels how it looks it's just amazing to me and personally i feel more prettier and more beautiful in this hair than I was feeling in relaxed hair and you i just grew a relationship between me and my hair a relationship that i didn't have with my relaxed hair i know my hair i know what my hair loves i know what it wants i give it exactly that 
I love telling people that I treat my hair as a plant or a flower. When you have it there, you don't want it to die. And that is how I feel about my hair. You want it, you want to give it um the nutrients that it needs. Like your plants, they always need nutrients, pests, things like that. You give it water for it to grow. And that is what I give my hair because it loves exactly that. And the relationship that I have with it is just amazing on its own as well so yeah just don't let people fool you having an afro is nice you have people tell you that they had an afro and they cut it because they just couldn't do it it's because for them like they didn't have that closeness relationship with their hair the moment you start developing the love that i'm talking about about your hair like having to maintain it won't be that much of a problem to you you know that okay for me not to get shrinkage i just need an hour out of my 24 hours to do my night braids the next morning you your hair will look like popping like kings and quails will say it <laughs> it'll look popping and you know that it's fine i can just sacrifice an hour of my day and the following day i will look good so if you cut your hair because you cannot maintain it first of all you are not fond with afro you just doing it i don't know for what maybe because everyone is doing it or because it looks good because i mean <laughs> but yeah you just have to develop that love for your hair if you don't know much about afro i suggest you do what i did at the beginning of my journey like research about afro watch um natural hair youtubers so that you can know what an afro demands and what it does not demand or, or what it does not want let me rather say and in that way it will be easier for you to take care of your hair it will be easier for you to nurture your hair like you you want you will obviously face a few challenges but they won't be as deep until you reach a point where you cut your afro for me the only thing that will make me cut my afro is if it's not healthy anymore obviously i will cut it because i don't think i ever want to grow unhealthy hair so if my afro gets to a stage where it's not healthy anymore it's flaky it's damaged maybe from heat or i dyed it then obviously i will cut my hair but other than that i don't think i'll ever cut my hair because the products are expensive or because it demands a lot of energy from me or because it just wants or i don't have time to take care of it i don't think i will ever do that never i love my hair so much to a point where those things don't matter i know what i want and i know what i'm going to get out of my hair if i do those things so yeah it's just it's nice guys don't let them fool you having an afro is amazing so if you are thinking of big chopping because you want an afro then i so i i i advise you to do it now do it today or tomorrow but yeah just do it whenever you are ready there is nothing so to answer a few questions that i received from instagram yeah we're doing it now and i wouldn't say that i've got a lot of questions but most of them were almost similar so out of all the questions that i received i narrowed them up to at least 10 questions i think i will cover i will accommodate everyone who asked me a question and the first question which is the most common question that i get is which products do i use to moisture to dip condition and to wash my hair like i mentioned i use afro botanics i have used it since the very first day of my big chop until today i haven't changed the product because of how well it treats my hair like my hair has been healthy ever since and I think these products do play a huge role in the healthiness of my hair so that's why I haven't changed I tried using different products um, a few months ago but I used them once and I was like never ever again never ever again using those products like they 
I just washed my hair and deep conditioned and my hair was just horrible from the go from the moment I changed the product and I immediately went back to Afro Botanics. So yeah, you can get them from Clicks. They are very affordable for me compared to other um, natural hair products. They are one of the most affordable. So I have like, I have them here and I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So this is the shampoo. They, um, they incorporated it with Black Pearl product. So you'll see here that um, it has Black Pearl and then here it has Afro Botanics. So this is the shampoo that they have. This is the only shampoo that they have for Afro, for natural hair. You can get it from Clicks and you can get it from Pick and Pay and Checkers. And another product that I use from Afro Botanics is this Super Hair Growth Cream. It It's literally the only cream that I use on my hair. Whether I'm doing my LOC method or what, this is the cream that I would use. It has um, natural oils in it. It has pop up oil, marula oil, and moringa oil. And like my hair has been loving it since ever since I cut my hair until today. So yeah, the letters are a bit off because I've had it for almost four months now. That's one thing that I love about Afro Botanics product is that they last for long. Yeah, I um, can also get it from Clicks. It's ninety something rand. I will put the um, the actual prices of the products in the description box just so you guys can see the like the exact prices of the product and another product that i use is from afro botanics as well it's the twist curl and define cream it has aloe vera gel shea butter and coconut oil it defines and holds curls and twists out so this cream i only use it if i want like definition on my hair if i don't want like straight a big afro um for example if i'm doing a twist out or a braid out the night before then i would do it with this cream but i know the next morning my hair will be beautifully defined like the curls would pop yeah you can also get it from clicks as well pick and pay and check us it's also 90 something rand and for my deep conditioner as well i also use the afro botanics repairing deep conditioner but i have been looking for the product for almost two months now and i can't find it anywhere in all my nearest click stores so i obviously cannot skip the deep conditioning process so i asked some few people who have afro what can i use as a deep conditioner as an alternative and two or three set anti cheeky step conditioner so it's this one it's the coco repair coconut cream dip conditioner so i think the main ingredient in this dip conditioner is coconut um it's enriched with coconut oil and avocado so so far i used it only once on my hair and wow don't i love it so i don't know i think now i'll just opt for two dip conditioners this one definitely and my favorite dip conditioner from afro botanics i got this one from clicks and it was 99 rands yep i know guys they're expensive but then what i like about afro product is that you don't have to buy them each and every month no i know if i have this dip conditioner i'm definitely going to use it for at least two to three months then that's when i can get a new one so yeah and obviously some oils on my hair as well um sometimes i use coconut oil sometimes i use olive oil but my favorite oil would be like olive oil for my loc method i use olive oil most of the time and if i'm out of olive oil i will use coconut oil and yeah those are basically the products that i use for my hair and question number two do you use a hair dryer <laughs> Woo, this one um first of all heat is not good for your hair that's one thing for sure i do use a hair dryer only if i'm going to plait my hair especially cornrows simply because i just want my hair to look neat it does look neat if you do not blow dry it but then not as neat as it looks if you have blow dried it 
I once tried not blow drying my hair and I did cornrows and they look bad. And I blamed the hairdresser for that only to find out that no, if I had um blow drying my hair, they were going to look better. So yes, I do use a hair dryer on my hair only when I'm doing cornrows. If I'm doing like box braids, then I don't have to because like why? But yeah, if I'm doing cornrows, then I do definitely use a hair dryer. But I advise that, like I said, that heat damages your hair. So if you know that you're going to the saloon and you are going to get your hair blown out with a hair dryer, I suggest that you do at least a protein treatment before you go to the saloon or deep condition before you go to the saloon. Then that will reduce the effects that heat will have on your hair. Not entirely reduce them, but the damage won't be as much. And even after and doing your cornrows i suggest you dip condition or do a protein treatment to get rid of the damage that was caused by heat and third question how do you keep your hair from breaking um moisturizing it the correct way for c hair or let me say afro hair in general um is prone to breaking if you do not use like the proper moistures for your hair if your hair gets dry like really dry obviously it will break when you comb it and another thing that i that i do to avoid my hair from breaking is protein treatment at least once in four months um some will say once in six months but i feel like six months is too long for me so ensure that you get at least um three protein treatments in a year like after four months each there are a lot of products that you can use for protein treatment get it from like your drugstores like your clicks can get your hair mayonnaise the palmas coconuts um protein treatment those things and there are some neutralistas that do homemade protein treatments like they would mix mayonnaise with eggs and whatnot, which I do not prefer. I want like a protein treatment from a store that is already being done for me. So yeah, just um properly moisturizing your hair as well as giving your hair protein treatment. Um, I think I will do a video on the importance of protein treatments at some point. Maybe the next video, maybe. Yeah and the fourth question what are your personal hair goals my personal hair goals okay first of all is to have healthy hair i wouldn't say length i'm not obsessed over length there is no point of having long hair that is not healthy so first of all healthy hair hair that does not break hair that is healthy looking hair that is defined like defined and yeah after that i would say for my hair to obviously grow bigger than how it is now um if you know akalaka she has two instagram handles um at miss akalaka as well as at on your crown if you can check her instagram page like she is my hair goals if my hair can look like akalaka said then yeah we've reached the goal next question is i have relaxed hair what can i do to get an afro without cutting that's one question that i had as well before i did my big job i was like isn't there a way that i can do afro without getting rid of my relaxed hair but then i realized that the best way to get a beautiful looking healthy afro is if you just do a big job but like you say without getting rid of your relaxed hair another option that you have is to transition so basically transitioning is when you stay a few months without relaxing your hair maybe three four months or six maybe depending on what you prefer if you do not mind staying six months then yeah you can go up to six months and after that six months they will like trim your hair above the growth they will trim those soft ends above the growth and you can start taking care of your hair as natural hair or as afro hair and it will start coming together and growing as an afro 
but can't you help do a big job and stop being scared um next question is how do you deal with shrinkage the worst thing ever i think for so many days that i've had afro i've only went outside and shrink hair three times which were probably the worst days of my life i think personally i just want my hair i love my hair big as it is and i want it to always stay popping um hence i do not like shrinkage but there are three methods which you can use to get rid of shrinkage my favorite one being african threading so basically take a portion of your hair and stretch it and put wool over it other two methods is um a twist out and a braid out which they are self-explanatory so i i opt for those if i know that the next morning i want like my hair to look defined maybe i want i want my hair to have curls then i will use it with um that afro botanics product that i showed you guys the curling cream and do a twist out or a braid out and the next morning i will have stretched hair that is also defined slash that has curls next question is how long have you been growing your hair so i've had my hair i cut last year may 2018 so from may 2018 until august 2019 it's been one year five months and i feel like my hair has grown a lot it's shut it's such a short space of time but i feel like it has grown a lot how i take care of it definitely contributes and i think my genes as well do contribute we have a lot of hair at home like our hair grows quick so i think that as well did contribute to how fast my hair grew and next question what type of hair do you have i have 4c hair yeah so 4c hair is basically most afro people do have 4c hair some have 4b hair 4b hair is that lovely curled afro like that is naturally curled but unfortunately 4c hair is what i have so 4c hair it's dry that's number one it is hard and for you to to relieve the dryness is if you moisture it a lot if you spray water if you have noticed a lot of natural hair people use water in their hair it's because of the type of hair that they have it's very dry and it needs some moisture as well and water does contribute to the moisture that their hair needs so i have for c hair um next question how long have you been growing your hair and what issues have you had along the way i think i have answered this before it's one year five months and the issues that i had is the maintenance and the energy that my hair demands as well as the shrinkage parts which i just talked about now um next question is which product would you recommend on a 200 budget what um it depends what your hair loves so i cannot recommend certain products that are less than 200 but then you find that your hair does not love those products so what i would rather say is i don't know find just find products that your hair love that fall within your budget but the products that i have okay afro botanics products are not that expensive and cliques love doing this um three for two special so basically if you want a shampoo the cream and the dip conditioner three of them just wait for that special net right? and then just pay for the dip conditioner which is less than 100 grand pay for the cream which is also less than 100 grand and then you will get the shampoo for free already it's less than 200 and other products that i have seen that are under 200 and i would love to try but i'm scared <laughs> are the dark and lovely natural hair range product um i will also put their prices in the description box but i've heard good reviews about them people say that they are lovely they they treat your hair well and 
what i i love about them since i haven't used them it's their price i think their shampoo is about 50 something rands so yeah that as well as well as um organics hair product you can literally get a shampoo and a conditioner so for a beginner i would recommend afro uh, organics um product um next question do you spray water on your hair if you do how does it help yes i do spray water on my hair every single day like i said that i have 4c hair and it's very dry and hard so spraying water benefits it in such a way that it's easy for me to manage my hair it prevents my hair from breaking like if i would take a comb in the morning and try to comb my hair without giving it water my hair is going to break so giving it water um results in minimal breaking or not breaking at all and it it also makes my hair easily manageable like if i want to do a high puff for example without spraying water I, my high puff won't look that nice like it won't so i just need water your hair needs water like i said at the beginning of the video that i treat my hair as a plant the same way i would give my plant water i'm going to give my hair water for those two reasons to prevent breakage and to make it um easily manageable and it grows in general water helps in hair growth um next question how did you get your hair <laughs> this flu is doing the most guys how did you get your hair to grow so fast first of all i loved my hair and i still do so that's the first thing i love my hair and loving my hair makes it easy for me to have time for my hair makes it easy for me to have the energy to take care of my hair so how i got it to grow so fast is the love that i have for it i've always been determined in in taking care of it and i i found the right product for my hair fortunately at a first try um i got the right products for my hair and my hair has loved the product since then um yeah so for you to get your hair to grow um this quick just love your hair have time for it and have energy for it and find the product that work for your hair um any advice you would give to a person who just started their afro journey huh, um have patience that's one thing for sure have patience do not compare yourself to other people who have an afro their hair might have grown so fast in the space of six months and your hair might grow that fast in the space of two years so have patience and do not compare yourself to other um naturalistas another advice is that love your hair have time for your hair and yeah just nurture it and take care of it the way you know that it needs to be taken care of and if you do not know anything about afro like i was at the beginning of this journey then do more research about afro and before you cut your hair make sure that you did enough research so that you do not end up having regrets you find that you wash your hair and then suddenly it's this small and then you want to cry and then you want to relax your hair suddenly no do research about it so that when certain things happen in your afro journey you are not surprised and you do not get um ideas of giving up i think that was my last question yeah so that's it i think this video is long okay i think so but thank you so much for watching until the end and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up um comment as well tell me how your natural hair journey has been tell me what you love the most about it tell me what you hate the most about it and tell me which products you use for your hair and how they've treated your hair so far and if you haven't subscribed to my channel 
press that subscribe button somewhere here or there i don't know but yeah subscribe 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 and thank you so much for watching my video and stay tuned for the next video i love you so much Mwah.